Hi, uh, my name's Lee Height, and I get a lot of questions off the website about how to do windless chimes. And I thought today we'd uh, show you a simple way that you could do that. You can buy from a company called Newton's Flying Magnets. You don't need this entire unit. All you need is this electromagnet here, wrapped in blue tape, and a circuit board here. It's powered either from 110 volts AC or 12 volt DC battery. And the circuit board provides a pulse to the electromagnet. And at the bottom of the striker rod is a high intensity magnet. And to the striker rod we've got attached a striker that is fairly lightweight for this application. It's a wood disc with four holes drilled into it, uh, wrapped with black electrical tape to soften the blow a little bit. The chimes that are hanging are half inch steel chimes adjusted to be even at the bottom and striking them very close to the bottom. And this will give you an idea of what uh, an indoor set of chimes might sound like uh, on a random basis. We're going to be switching to a couple of other sets of chimes. We've got 3 quarter inch copper chimes and 2 inch aluminum chimes with 1 8 inch wall thickness. When I switch to the copper and the aluminum chimes uh, uh, tubes, I'm going to switch to a uh, hockey puck. It's one of my favorite strikers. It uh, has enough mass to, uh, to produce a decent strike, but the uh, hard rubber is just soft enough not to do a, a hard climb when the uh, striker hits the chime. So this will give you an idea. Uh, again, this unit, uh, you can buy the circuit board and the electromagnet with a power supply from Newton's Flying Magnets. And Roger Sontag uh, provided this. And we'll uh, switch over to another set of chimes to give you an idea what they might sound like. Okay, we've got the three quarter inch copper chimes supported. We're using the hard rubber hockey puck as a striker. And this will give you an idea of what a uh, random set of indoor windless chimes might sound like. And here we have the 2 inch diameter aluminum chimes, 1 8 inch wall thickness with a hockey puck, hard rubber, as a striker. Our last set of chimes is a set of thin wall brushed aluminum, has a fairly hard temper and you'll notice a longer sustain time, longer resonance with this higher temper than compared to the other sets of chimes that we've had on here. We'll go ahead and wrap up this video. This will give you some idea of what four different sets of chimes might sound like if you were to build a set of windless indoor chimes powered by an electromagnet with a control board. So good luck on your next project and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.